Hey guys, welcome to my video on invasive species control. Okay, so what are invasive species? An invasive species is first classified as a non-native species, which is an organism that originates from another ecosystem. These organisms may be brought to another ecosystem intentionally, such as by humans, <coughs> or unintentionally by wind or water. Now, non-native species will usually die out because of the drastic change in the environment. However, if there is a lack of competition or predators, the non-native species may begin to multiply at an uncontrollable rate, becoming an invasive species. An invasive species will become predators and competition by eating the native species and food sources, while also costing some countries billions of dollars in damage. Okay. So how can people control an invasive species? The easiest, most obvious, most effective way to control an invasive species is Do not bring any organisms from other countries. Bringing in other organisms, the chance of an invasive species taking over an ecosystem is greatly increased. So by not bringing in other organisms, that chance will be considerably lower. So let's say that an invasive species has already been established in an ecosystem. What are the choices for controlling them? There are three choices, chemical, mechanical, and biological. Let's start with chemical. Chemical control involves using pesticides and herbicides to control an invasive species. A pesticide is a substance that will kill an animal when ingested. If you're wondering what a herbicide is, it's basically the same thing, but for plants. The pros of chemical control is that the invasive species will die. The cons are that the native species may also die, and the environment may be polluted. Now let's talk about mechanical control. Mechanical control refers to the erection or destruction of physical barriers or plants. For example, if there is an invasive species of fish that migrated year round, a physical wall will be able to block them off. Now for the pros and cons. For the pros, mechanical control has small risk of harming the local inhabitants. For the cons, mechanical control may cause pollution in the environment. Mechanical control also costs time and money to maintain the physical barriers. Finally, let's talk about biological control, nicknamed biocontrol. Biocontrol refers to the introduction of other organisms to control an invasive species. For example, a natural predator or even a virus may be released into an ecosystem to control an invasive species. The pros of biocontrol is that unlike chemical and mechanical control, which need to be maintained constantly, biocontrol is self-sustaining, making it cost-effective. Biocontrol also does not pollute the surrounding environment. The cons are that biocontrol will only control an invasive species rather than completely eliminating it. To ensure that biocontrol is effective, extensive research and testing must be done. That's it for my video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.